welcome to another Rooster Talk. Uh, today I've got uh, Andrew Rodonjic here from Venture Minerals, who's going to be uh, talking to us about the uh, latest release, which involves a JV with Sense or Limited. Um, I've always classified uh, Venture as a uh, targeted, diversified uh, mineral explorer. Uh, and I think, you know, in today's announcement, you know, with this new JV, um, we could, you know, we'll get an explanation of, of why I think that is the case. So at the moment, Venture has a market cap of 31.85 million. Share price is about 1.8 cents as we speak today. Um, Andrew, welcome. Um, it's good to be back again. Yeah, we're back again. Look, Golden Grove, I've always liked the area, you know, and um, it hasn't really had any major exploration in base metals for a few decades, as you guys have pointed out early on. So far away, let us know what's been happening. Well, look, as, as, as you know, Venture has many, many projects, and, uh, you know, we have a JV with, with, with Chalice, obviously, on our Southwest project, which, you know, we've been pretty happy with as... It's provided shareholders exposure to, uh, you know, a very successful exploration company, bringing its own ideas, not necessarily technology, but maybe special methods that they use in terms of you know, soil sampling or, or de different geophysical techniques. You know, that's that's kind of where, where the, uh, if you like, the proprietary uh, type systems that use. And we all, we all do something a little bit different and we favour in, in different terrains. And... And by bringing those sort of groups in, it allows us to bring that forward potential of discovery, a discovery forward. That's what it's all about. So the JV with Chalice, very much that. Um, and, and the Golden Grove North story is exactly the same with Sensor. And that's, you know, for, it allows the shareholders another opportunity, broaden the skill sets involved. Um, you know, Venture's very busy with, with stuff in Tasmania. Uh, then recently, obviously, we come across these rare earths as part of, you know, that initial discovery down at the Reward Prospect, uh, Tin Prospect at uh, at Mount Lindsay. So, you know, very topical in terms of what we've been doing in, in the area at Gold, around Gold Grove North, just to the east, on the Brothers Project and the Iron Duke JV adjacent to it. But, uh, you know, we thought that uh, Sensor provided a, um, a good opportunity with its, you know, its its own proprietary AI technology to have a look at this. And we've had a, a bit of a go there. Um, haven't, doesn't mean thorough exploration. There's a, there's a salt lake there, Lake Yalgoo, which provides challenges. And, and certainly trying to see underneath that or use other methods for targeting is uh, sometimes beyond the capacity of a junior explorer to afford doing this. And like I said, we all know we've got a lot of projects um, so it's a, um, yeah, it's good to have a joint venture part like Sensor. How do you think your shareholders or potential shareholders should look at this, um, JV? I mean, JV's, like these things work well. Um, you know, the old 100% of an elephant, uh, 100% of a mouse or 10% of an elephant, you know, et cetera, et cetera. How should they look at this in your opinion? Well, in our opinion, it's, um, you know, like I was saying, get, Get some experts in there with some different ideas. You know, these guys have got a huge track record. It's like a, you know, geological think tank, tech, high, highly expertise from, you know, the, um, ten, the in terms of the geophysics, the geochemistry. Guys that have worked with bigger companies like you know your Rios, your Newcrests, Newmonts, all that sort of thing, where they've they've tried their own techniques, and you know they've obviously you know, come together, um, you know, they provide that skill sets, you know, we, we could, I suppose, could engage Sensor to do that. But they approached us, um, you know, we think we've got a pretty reasonable deal, you know, where they've got, you know, they want to get on the ground, start drilling, testing their concepts. Um, and I think, you know, otherwise, you know, the Golden Grove North project may, may meander along to a degree, you know, whilst we're focused on other assets. And I think that's what shareholders should be excited about the potential. And these guys have got, you know, um, you know, success, you know, through other companies and, and, uh, and, you know, they make money. This is their business. Um, you know, they've got a group called uh, Deutsche Rostoff. You look at their announcement who, uh, who are providing the, the funding behind it. So it's kind of like, hang on, they're, they're backing these guys with money. Um, and, uh, so I think it's, it's quite positive, you know, like, 
And they're going to they're be focused on the lithium and the copper. The copper is obviously with, with the VMS style systems there, you know, and, you know, the Orcus Prospect, Neptune. Neptune we haven't drilled a hole on, um, you know, but, you know, some of that terrain's a bit challenging in terms of lots of the salt lakes before. Um, but I think by having a group focused on it, the project will yield quicker. Uh, you'll get to that point. We'll test it. We'll find out. There's always been that potential there. Those EM targets that, you know, we've got a lot of EM targets. How do you rank those? Which are the best ones? Um, you know, you could go broke drilling those targets, you know, similar scenario to, to our project with JV with Chalice down at, uh, in the southwest. You know, we had 13 targets there at one stage. Which one do you drill first? Is it number 13? Is is the winner? Or is it more work that generates more targets? And, and by having that, you know, proprietary leading edge technology, it can all of a sudden hone in from a huge number of targets down to one or two and um, and come up with, like I said, a discovery sooner rather than later. Yeah, look, you know, JV is the kind of thing, people think, oh, you're giving it, a, you know, the baby away and all that kind of stuff. But when you're weighing all the costs and the, and the opportunity uh, lost because you focus on this one and not the other one, but interestingly, in the announcement, I mean, when I read it, I actually missed this part where they actually have to go out and do your Vulcan re-earth project and drill that hole. So you've got to first go at whether this is going to work from the JV. Um, that, and, and obviously then that will lead to your other uh, re-earth because projects are close by because it's, it's, it's probably one whole WA portfolio, right? The whole rear is your, your brothers, Brandy and, and, and Vulcan. Well, that, that, that's exactly right. It's, um, you know, we, when we sat down and spoke with Sensor, it's sort of, with Richard Taylor there, we sort of said, well, look, I think, you know, shareholders want us to have a crack at it. So we delineated something. It wasn't a focus in this, on this area. Um, you know, like, like I said, they were more interested in the lithium and, and um, in copper space, obviously we're interested in the copper space. And we're very, very interested if they make a lithium discovery um, because um, obviously uh, that's a pretty hot commodity at the moment uh, and rare earths are certainly heading up there. But um, we thought, well, if you could drill the hole for us as part of your earning, then that would save us money. So it's effectively like giving us a check for to drill, the uh, cash to drill that hole. And it's minimum 300 metres. It'll be part of their initial RC diamond exploration program. They want to get on the ground within the first 12 months. The timing, timing in terms of drilling suits both parties. And, uh, and if they can, you know, if we make the discovery, then we've got, then we'll do, we'll do the drilling after that. I'll be, that'll be our cost and we'll have to we'll work together on that. And it'll be a very, uh, obviously, great thing for the company, a rare earth discovery. Um, the other side of the coin is is that um, what I like about this joint venture, besides that part, which is which is a free drill hole um, on the new 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 target, very high grade rare earth target. We um, we have that opportunity where if they come around and they make a discovery in the first couple of years, that we can do a clawback, and instead of having thirty percent of the project, we could have forty percent. So I like that sixty forty, having forty percent of a a a lit, new lithium discovery is a quite a meaningful stake for shareholders. So we try to provide as bigger upside a meaningful spend on the project. Obviously the, the ground needs to have money spent on it to keep it in good standing. Um, yeah, look, it ticked a lot of boxes. So it, uh, these things don't happen overnight, but uh, you know, we were approached and, and uh, you know, we, we worked hard on a deal and I think both parties have got a win-win scenario in this sort of agreement. That clawback is uh, normally reserved for the bigger companies. So I've found that quite amusing that you were actually to use that. Ah, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it was the privilege of the big boys. Yeah, I think very much, I think it shows how keen they are to get on the ground. Yeah, well, that's leading to my next question. I guess, you know, from, from their point of view, they, they've used AI to look at stuff and we talked about how, well, I, I kind of like that, that area, but... Again, again, you know, you've kind of answered that question is that, you know, they must be keen, right? Yeah, look, uh, we, we'd sensor, they, they were obviously clearly identified, uh, the Golden Grove North project. And certainly, you know, before I think people didn't have sort of been learning about, okay, well, we're finding 
these pegmatite veins next to these greenstone belts, you know, and, and red dirt, which are kind of next greenstone belt along, you know, there's great examples of companies going, earning in to the lithium rights and peg, and all of a sudden, oh, hang on, these guys already drilled, you know, 30 metres going 1.5% lithium oxide. And, those, and, and building companies out of those, that type of scenarios, that's happened a couple of times. And we've got uh, pegmatites, uh, you know, further to the north, north, northwest of us, around that Melville area, where the greenstone belt sort of has, the, the nose of the greenstone belt comes together to the north and there's, there's, there's lithium occurrences there. And so, um, so clearly, um, you know, they've got a tool there, um, you know, using their, you know, the machine learning in you know, its discriminant predictive targeting uh, proprietary um, technology, DPT, to try and go through and hone in the data and using all the old data sets that are available out there. And obviously, uh, you know, sometimes the data is, uh, depending on how it's gone through, it's QA, QC. Um, but, you know, they've obviously grabbed all the data sets probably in Western Australia or Australia probably, Australia-wide, and some states will have better data sets than others. But I believe um, from our discussions that one is the amount of work done on that Golden Grove area, because history, government departments have just been trying to study these VMS deposits. There's a fair bit of data in that area. And, you know, when we picked up the project, oh, I'm going to say it's 2018, but it had a lot of holes in it and different phases of exploration, some looking for nickel, some looking for VMS, some looking for gold. And it's a real hodgepodge of, of, of uh, activity for different commodities. So why not lithium? And certainly it's in the area. And, uh, and they talk about these, you know, sitting in these zones in, 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 that uh, provide if you like within the shadow of these greenstone belts is, is a term, terminology I've actually forgotten now but there is a talk about um, these greenstone belts being an important host but being not necessarily within the greenstone but sort of immediately adjacent to it I think it's called the Goldilocks zone that's the memory it was and it, this and this is kind of um, that area is ticks that box and up and having maybe having the leading edge of this sort of technology uh, may unlock that again quite quickly but um, yeah look I think we've come a long way in our understanding of and it's been in a fast learning curve for everyone and those who knew this earlier were taking the benefits of earning into projects which had pegmatites in it not necessarily for the gold potential but more for the lithium potential and that's you know and that's because of the price of lithium went up tenfold you know and that that's all of a sudden the whole world the rocks that used to be boring are now worth a lot of money, worth potentially more than the gold. And the pegmatites used to be, and I think I said in the previous interview, you used to, used to, your pegmatites stoping out your body and how annoying that was. And you know, you lost your gold deposit, your gold zone, because this goddamn pegmatite's gone straight through it and stoped it out. Well, there's big chunks of spodumene in it. So, and you know, so that that's sort of, um, you know, I think, uh, and, and again, the Brothers Project, you know, you're sitting out there and you look at the geological data set and you say, there's a greenstone belt, Golden Grove North, Golden Grove in it, with Golden Grove North, etc. cetera. Um, gold, VMS style, different styles of mineralization. And then you've got the, on, the, on the geological survey maps, pink, undifferentiated granites or some, some very vague term because no one's done the work out there. And that's why, you know, when you start going east of the belt, there's no drill, there's hardly a drill holes, hardly any work, no one's ever been, hardly been out there. And, uh, and we're going to have to rely upon geochemical, geophysical techniques, and, and certainly, and I think AI is going to be an important part of that to try and unlock what may be sitting beneath the surface or within these data sets of gravity, you know, quite often quite broad space, or, uh, or the magnetics. But that's why that 100k sheet around Golden Grove, that Yalgoo area, like you said, the comment was, we've got some of the best data in Australia. So it provides a great opportunity for this, for the AI technology to sort of look through the data and do some targeting. And, and that, you know, their, their view is we want to be drilling targets in the first 12 months. Obviously, Vulcan will be part of that exercise, but, you know, if it yields, yields a discovery, we'll uh, be good for venture and good for Sensor. Look, Andrew, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a very interesting um, approach 
that we've talked about, you know, you JV and stuff, Thor's doing well, you know, Chalice is getting into it, you know, and uh, I don't doubt this one will go down the same way. Um, you know, being t having projects that other people want is, is a good thing. Um, look, as we go, I, I guess, you know, that to the next time we, we've, we've got a, um, a journey to follow. And, and like all rooster talks, we, we have to finish a few um, petting the rooster for good luck. Good luck. For well, good luck. So, um, yeah. That's yeah. a really good reason. For, 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 <laughs> yeah. So, there you go. I think, la I think last time I did this, so maybe this time. I know my dog likes that. That's <laughs> that. Now, just down, scratch the breast, and uh, yeah. they, don't, they don't have to do it themselves, so they're very happy about it. <laughs> so, yeah. um, poor rooster. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, Andrew, and till next time. All the best. All right. All right.